Yeah, so I may be in San Diego for CTIA, but look what just showed up at the hotel. What's going on, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and I got to give some love to Samsung because they sent T-Mobile's Galaxy S2 over to the hotel in San Diego for me, so special thanks to them. And also, apologies, I forgot my tripod in the office, so it's going to be a little bit of a shaky video, but I thought, hey, at least we could get it on the YouTube side as opposed to waiting for a couple days. But here it is. T-Mobile is the last Galaxy S2 to come out. This one's going to be available in retail stores on the 12th. For two fifty nine, excuse me, two twenty nine ninety nine, and it's packing a one point five gigahertz Snapdragon S three dual core processor. It's got a four point five two inch display, eight megapixel camera with ten eighty p HD video. So it's interesting to look at these in comparison to some of the others. You know, the AT and T Galaxy S two and the Sprint Galaxy or the Epic four G Touch to see how different they look. So special thanks to Samsung and also special thanks to my boys at Best Buy for hooking us up with a bunch of phones for use in our Wampaw Bandit game just like this. So when you go to Best Buy Mobile and you get this phone or anything else, you're gonna walk out working. They're gonna help you set up your email, your web, all that good stuff. So when you walk out that door, you're ready to go. So let's get into it and take a look actually first at the box. You're probably like, I don't really care that much about the box, but I kinda do, so let's see here. Uh, what's inside? Samsung Galaxy S2, battery and charger, USB cable, SIM card, and star guide. And actually, it's kind of funny because it comes in that typical T-Mobile box, but it's a little bit bigger than the, uh, the previous T-Mobile boxes, like the one that the Amaze 4G comes in and things like that. So let's see what we get here in the box. We get some, uh, well, we get these, but oh, there they are. Okay, perfect. Uh, we get the earbuds down here. So that's nice. A nice little pair of earbuds from Samsung. We'll do that. Pardon my one-handedness here. Uh, Samsung AC adapter module, USB cable. So you've got that out of the box. A typical Samsung AC adapter module here that we've seen with the previous Galaxy S2 devices. And then I wanted to pull these out. And there we go. So you can see what those look like. Typical Samsung earbuds, although they are nice in-ear uh, earbuds. So you can see those look pretty decent. And then you get some tips as well. Uh, if they don't fit your ears perfectly. Now, you get some instruction manuals, and these are going to be kind of fun to try and take out. Oh, there we go, perfect. A nice big instruction manual, Samsung Galaxy S2 Start Guide, Terms and Conditions, Return Policy, Limited Warranty, and here it is, the device that you've been waiting for. So we got the sticker on the front, which I just peeled off without warning. And you can see that the battery uh, cover and the overall design is a little bit different. It looks kind of similar to Samsung's Epic 4G Touch on Sprint, but you can see the, uh, the hump is a little bit different. The hump is part of the battery door, so it's all-encompassing as opposed to... Uh, the battery door kind of pulling off and leaving that hump on the Epic 4G Touch. Camera placement's a little bit different. And then up here at the top, you get your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You get a power button over here on the side. You get your micro USB charging port down there at the bottom and your uh, volume rocker over here on the side. So battery, I believe it's a 1,850 milliamp hour battery, but I could be wrong. Let me just double check here. I'll we'll pull this out and see. Yep, 1,800 and 50 milliamp hours. We'll wait for that to focus in so you can see it yourself. And then we'll pop it back in the device and get this sucker started up. Here we go on the Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile. So again, you know, coming out on October 12th, and it's coming out with the HTC Amaze 4G. And, you know, HTC's designs have always been kind of plasticky, or at least, you know, the build quality's been a little bit different, kind of like Samsung's, where plastic build quality, nothing that's too exciting or too, you know, something you could write home about. Now, with the Amaze 4G, though, it definitely compares to the iPhone 4 in terms of design. Beautiful metal on the back. So it'll be interesting to see which one people go with. If they go with this one because, you know, it's historically a fast device, the big display, or you go with a little bit of a smaller display, which you go with those nice metal accents. It'll uh, be interesting to see. So here's the device itself, and I had to leave the battery uh, cover off because there's no way I'm going to get that back on while I'm uh, trying to shoot with one hand. So you can see here, Here's the device, you know, if anything, uh, if you ever had any concerns about the 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S3 processor being too slow, because it isn't running the 1.2 gigahertz Exynos dual core uh, CPU that the others are running, is running its own Snapdragon processor, no lag whatsoever, you know, I'm not really seeing any difference in the performance of this one versus AT&T's Galaxy S2 or Sprint's Epic 4G Touch. Now, of course, in the review, we'll have dog, uh, speed tests and things like that, so be sure to stay tuned for those. But out of the box, you get uh, 411 and more accounts in sync, Asphalt 6, VIP bonus apps, whatever the heck, uh, Blio, Blio, I want to figure out what that is. Keys Air, Kai's Air, more for me, Samsung's Media Hub, you get T-Mobile's My Account, Netflix, so you get some decent stuff pre-installed out of the box, T-Mobile Name ID, T-Mobile TV, Quick Video Chat, Utility, Pro Apps, and then more. So you can go in here, for example, and Pro Apps, let's see what's down there in the box, pro.tmobile.com, and it looks like it's down at the moment, it looks like my service is uh, a little shaky in this area, which it is because I've been using the Amaze 4G and the hotel uh, isn't the greatest. When I came back to pick this up at the hotel, I could tell the, uh, the service wasn't going to be that great, but you can see, you know, same 4.52 inch display, 
that the Epic 4G Touch with uh, comes with. But the design's a little bit different. It's a little bit more tapered at the bottom, as you can see, and it has the same capacitive buttons, menu, home, back, and search. So a little more tapered, and it's funny to look at all these different designs. Actually, you know, I knew, I knew this from the Samsung event. This design appeals to me the most, but it may not be the one that appeals to you the most. Of course, AT&T's looks the most like the international version. You have uh, Sprint, which is just a big honking device. Same size display, but a little bit more curvy up, at to up top and a little bit more blocky down here at the bottom. And then you have this one, which uh, has the biggest battery of them all, 1,850 milliamp hours, and does have 4G capabilities that uh, reach 42 megabits per second. Now, of course, that's theoretical, theoretical HSPA plus 42, but I will say on the Amaze 4G, I've been getting speeds on T-Mobile of about 10 megabits per second in 42 megabit per second areas. So, you know, speeds have been definitely decent, and you compare that to um, some of the other carriers, Sprint's WiMAX, which are kind of in the process of phasing out, or they're going to phase out in the next year and a half or so, and then uh, AT&T's HSPA+. Plus. And you've got a good device here. You've got something that looks nice on T-Mobile. And that said, it's coming out for $229.99 on the 12th. Available for pre-order now. So uh, definitely you know, nice to see you. T-Mobile is getting some, ooh, hang on a second. Action required for your Wells Fargo account. I wonder if I can get, let me right here and see what comes out of the box. You get swipe, apparently. And you get the Samsung keypad, so you don't get gingerbread out of the box. But I want to say I can has money. And then I'm going to send that I can has money. Because apparently Wells Fargo wants to offer me money. So that's what I'm going to say back. And let's see what they say. Let's see if they say anything. Let's see if it sends, because service is a little spotty in the hotel. But you can see Wells Fargo. And then, of course, a typical text message look here that you've seen with the ones that are running TouchWiz 4.0, which obviously this is running Android 2.3 with TouchWiz 4.0. And you can see when you go to add widgets or add wallpapers, you can see it brings up that new 4.0 interface with widgets here. And I can easily scroll through not only between the seven home screens, but down here at the particular widget. So good looking device, a great addition to uh, T-Mobile, and I look forward to doing some more testing, and particularly a dogfight between the Amaze 4G and T-Mobile's Galaxy S2. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com with this device, so keep it locked on the site, and be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We do all kinds of exciting content. We do a lot of giveaways, so check it out and like us, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Got a question for me about this device. I'd love to answer it for you personally. Hit me up on Twitter, PhoneDog underscore Aaron, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog AB. Back to CTIA I go, but be on the lookout for some more content on the Samsung Galaxy S2. We'll see you next time.